Good morning world, hello. Welcome to Friday in the Paint with Pete session. As you can see, we've turned it all around and we're in our gallery day today. Um, so I'm just gonna sort my Mac out. I hope you've got a little space in your house. So if you've been drawing with me this week or any of the previous weeks, I hope you've got a little area in your abode, shed, garage, you know, tree house, wherever you are, wherever you're drawing on creating art. Make sure you've got a little space on your wall so we can display all the work from this week. I've got mine behind my most wanted flag. We'll take two minutes. Everybody get ready. Happy Friday, everyone. Cheers. Always have some water handy, why not? Let's get some tunes on as well, it is Friday. Okay, cool. Hello, hello, hello. So, sorry, just set my mic up just so I can see how it all looks and everything. Everything's looking all right. Okay, cool. Um, so we're gonna take another couple of minutes. Um, I'll reveal this beautiful thing at uh, five past 10. Um, so we've got a couple of things that I'll, oh, press the wrong button there. <laughs> hello. Um, so yeah. Oh, um, apparently uh, I've got, an <laughs> There's an emoji on, I'm going to try and turn the emojis off. Um, I'm not wearing my sorting hat and shades today. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Please take... <laughs> well, uh, please take this time to get some... I can't stop. Uh, I just keep spotting um, a hat and glasses go on my hair. <laughs> Give me two minutes. Oh, no. Um... There we are. I think um, <laughs> I think that should do it. Um, I really, really don't know. Uh, I'm gonna just have to keep checking the video just to make. <laughs> I must have pressed something when I go live. Um, that uh, found my face and put some shades and some hats on it. In fact, two seconds. Who needs emojis or filters when you have? The correct equipment so there is no filter on anymore I just decided to put my put my trilby on and my glasses and the works falling off behind me um, so this isn't a, this isn't a mistake this is me wearing my trilby and my hat so <laughs> sorry about that let's get back into the studio might keep the trilby on who knows you gotta look like your emojis right all right um, so as they are already coming off, I will reveal. Stay there, Trilby. The gallery. So, I'll just move my uh, not product placed at all, most wanted obsolete bag. Hopefully, it's all still up there. Okay. Fantastic. One of them isn't. So, let's just get him sorted. So, yesterday, I'll go through the whole week, but yesterday, we finished this guy. He's called Chakra. Uh, Chakra Khan. So let's just get him back up in the stash. He's going to fall down in a minute. That's okay. We're going to frame him. Um, so this week, I've absolutely loved it this week. Thank you so much for getting involved. Uh, again, if you are a regular with the Paint with Peace, 10 million points as usual. Uh, if you are new to the Paint with Peace, if this is your first time in the studio with me, Hello, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of drawing and stuff. I'm gonna be mainly fo focused on painting, but the whole focus of the session is just to exhibit the work, have some water near us, and just enjoy an hour of reviewing what we've done. I am gonna put a bit of creativity in it. I wanna add some uh, lines and some color, or at least some white, <clears throat> to my big canvas that uh, we were painting on Tuesday. So the week this week, has been fantastic. Again, thank you for getting involved. Thank you for getting creative. It's so important, um, you know, as a creative, it's so important to keep that energy going. So whether you're joining me in a session or you're just finding your own uh, banks of creativity and being creative, thank you, amazing. Spread the love, get your friends involved, get your parents or kids involved. Amazing work, let's just stay creative, right? So Monday, 
I dedicated Monday to my mate Ollie. Shouts to the Holmes family. So here's Ollie's incredible drawing. I've used this as inspiration for a couple of weeks. I showed it last week as well. Um, but I wanted to focus on this kind of freestyle doodle, um, kind of energy and head that obviously uh, Ollie is directly involved with. Um, he's just drawn dinosaurs with top hats, with dancing fruit, a spider, an angry spider, an evil snake. We've got a lemur, uh, ice cream, clouds and rainbows, a donut, a cat, loads and loads and loads of apple core, a camera flashing, cameras shooting the, the triangle that's got an eye in it. Again, if you're a bit of a conspiracy uh, theorist idiot like myself, um, this has so much connotation in it. And I don't think he knows, which is it, uh, even more impressive. There we are. So, from there, we went down the route of uh, we can get inspiration from everywhere. From anyone and everything in the world, anything that we see, we can turn into our own drawings. I then took a couple of... Uh, Icons from Ollie's insane drawing and drew some up myself. So I wanted to kind of reply to his drawing So I've made a fake uh, a pretend story up. So I want the son uh, Giving his son a thumbs up. So there's two sons being friends. We've got a happy cloud But we're in Manchester. So there's no rainbow. It's just rain, but he's happy Again, that kind of uh, when I first moved to Manchester. I am from Nottingham um, When I first moved to Manchester that kind of uh, Resilience of like how happy people were in the city, even though it was grey a lot of the time. It's absolutely stunning this morning. So hello from Manchester. There's my little Manchester happy cloud. And my donut, he's raining on a sad donut. We drew a funky banana to join in the party that the apple and pear were having. So we've got a groovy banana. And then I noticed one of the drawings on, on Ollie's was a, a cup with a face in it, with a straw as a head. So I decided to put my own face in that and drew myself as a cup with a straw for a head. Uh, you can take inspiration from anywhere, anyone, any age, it doesn't matter. Um, this isn't, again, I realize the uh, the kind of, the rules of copying um, and the kind of, uh, you know, potential infringements, etc., etc. But again, it's all about influence and inspiration. You can take it from anywhere. You know, I've found myself in uh, incredible situations uh, like being able to host an art night with some incredible artists you know, I've put on quite a few artists from Manchester. Um, I know loads and loads of different creatives. Even an 11 year old who's drawing, I was just blown away by, is part is now part of the obsolete story. It's part of that inspiration. Um, incredible dude, incredible um, enthusiasm just to draw. We can just doodle. Make something up, put a happy face on our son. Very, very simple. This was Monday. Got us happy, got our energy going. Amazing work. We also did a bit of a warm up. Just take this guy off. On Monday, I actually think that it was behind this guy. I, I can't remember which way around it was. Um, but our doodle for Monday, just to get our hands warm and our hearts going and our creative juices flowing, we drew some eyes. So we've done our skulls, we've done loads of hearts. Loads of hearts, I can see them there, they're on the wall. Uh, and skulls and stuff, I decided to go down the eyes route. Again, very simple icon. Fill that page. Again, these kind of natural spaces is just practice. I wanted a kind of a bit of a border because I knew that I was wanting to take it into Tuesday's session, which was colour. So I wanted to use something that we created very quickly, uh, very immediately, very reactionary um, to the page. I wanted to do something with this, so for Tuesday we did a similar baseline, but something happened on it. So let's put him back up. So take him off. Get Mr. Pete with Pete back up. I'm going to be making another sign very soon, or I will. Um, I'll be making a little sign just to um, show you guys how you can support the paint with Pete's, alright? Um, there we are. So this was Tuesday. I tried to do the whole session in one piece. Um, I added, obviously, the paints that we mixed. Certainly the pinks. I love pink. Um, so I started, I really wanted to go down the pink route. So there were some pinks thrown in by the audience. 
Um, it was named and I finished them yesterday. We'll do the reveal, so I'll take the masking tape off and I'll show you what it looks like flat and then in a frame momentarily, right? So this was Tuesday. He can go down there actually because he's going to fall off again. And then I'm just going to move you guys around so you can see the canvas because I want to work on them in a second. Colour, you'll see the colour that we added to the big canvas on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday we had a break, um, I had a dentist appointment, um, so I needed to, uh, well we just didn't have a session on Wednesday, um, so those of you who are longing for the lettering workshop, please have a look back at some of the uh, previous workshops that we've done, um, over on Obsolete Formats on YouTube, um, everything's kind of branded and they, uh, and you know, um, what's the word, described as the day that we're doing it, so it'll say, you know, Wednesday lettering, and then a descriptive word. Please have a look at them if you are needing, if you've got a bit of a, I need some type in my life. If you've got a, an urge to create some uh, typefaces or fonts, all hand drawn, please check those out. Um, so yesterday was portrait day. One of my favorite days anyway. I love drawing portraits. Uh, we created uh, this guy. He started uh, as a, <laughs> I started his name as Johnny Dead, like Johnny Depp, because he kind of looks a bit like Johnny Depp off of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, but the lady near Meeks um, stepped in. I didn't see the comment, I only got it this morning. Um, but D'Artagnan, so I'm gonna switch that name up. He's gonna be called Dark Tanyan, like D'Artagnan, as in the Musketeers. So he's got his mustache and his little uh, his goatee, his long hair. All he needs is a horse and a, a sword, and he is Dark Tanyan. So a bit of a twist on the idea of D'Artagnan, who is a musketeer. Love me an explanation. Okay, and then from D'Artagnan, So we did the structure in light blue. We added some details over in dark blue. Very, very, very simple, this one. Um, so just a kind of basic face. Completely freestyle, not based on anyone in particular. Uh, we were just kind of freestyling just to lock in those uh, facial structures and the basic uh, face build up. There we are. You can go back under here. Always got my surprise blue tack around. I might get my trilby back on for the second half. Missed that guy. Okay. Anyway. So let's just get D'Artagnan back up so he can be in the gallery with us. Okay. And then, so we did our facial structure. I didn't know who we were going to draw yesterday. Thursdays are always dedicated to portraits. So every week, you know, I'll show you the rest of them in a minute if you want them all down here. Um, it's dedicated to portraiture. So I'll create an obsolete version of a portrait of a famous person that is named by the audience. Uh, if you've got any famous people in your heads, please do not hesitate to send me them. Um, send me like names of people that you want to see drawn in the sessions. We chose Mr. Jonah Hill. I hope you uh, noticed that <laughs> before I mentioned his name. Um, I was very happy with this. Uh, a lot um, stronger a face uh, than I thought. So he's got a very strong structure of the face, uh, quite round, um, a bit of an interesting proportion, etc. Uh, and again, from, you know, I've, I'm, I'm used to drawing me, uh, straight nose, thin nose, you know, longer face, all that sort of stuff, all these little differences. The fact we drew somebody um, that is so well known what really, really tripped me up was, again, I said this a couple of, uh, yesterday as well, the closer you get to somebody physically and the closer you get to them while you're drawing them, you'll start seeing different shapes come out within their face. So we did our big egg. He's slightly turned, so I put a middle line in, got the glasses in first because they're a prominent feature in his face, and then just built up using a thinner Posca and a fatter Posca to create beard line, hair, eye details, uh, glass, a little sheen on the glass, lips and obviously all the other details of his face. Uh, I decided to put a black uh, line around it or a kind of um, you know dirt layer. I call them dirt layers because it's a, a bit dirty, a bit uneven, just to give him a bit of form. So he sits next to, I'll show you everyone else we've got. So I basically broke down all the sessions into, uh, sorry all the work down into the sessions. This is uh, probably about a th maybe half the work that we've done if we include the pieces that were sold and the canvases and all that sort of stuff. 
if you've been drawing with me for the past couple of weeks, thank you. Uh, you guys have been keeping me sane in the morning, giving me a real uh, energy and a purpose to kind of wake up, start the day right, and start treating my studio as a studio. So I'll come down, work here. After the paint with peas, I find it pretty hard to leave, I'll be honest. Um, so thank you for being with me in the sessions. Thank you for drawing. If you've even looked at a pencil and gone, maybe I'll pick it up. That's all I'm trying to do here, right? That's absolutely amazing. So the previous weeks, so I've got the, uh, I've got them in day order. I won't go through all of them just yet because that, we can save that for the exhibition. Uh, we'll leave Mr. Donald. So I've basically finished uh, the other pieces up. So, they, so there is a bit more of a series um, effect through the portraits. We did draw Donald, I'll show you Donald Trump. So this wasn't really an obsolete drawing, this was just a, a caricature. So we, ch I, I got a picture of an air balloon, hot air balloon, and Donald Trump and tried to turn him into a Trump balloon. Again, bye Felicia. Uh, so the week after we did Jim Curry. <laughs> My blue sack, man. You're getting some new stuff, mate. Hold on. Hold on. I know half the gallery is me arguing with blue tack. Apologies. Okay, so Jim, Jim Carrey turned into Grim Carrey. We have the MF Doom uh, mask. I'll repeat at the bottom. In gold. We have Mr. Keanu Reeves. And Mr. Kanye West. So, one, two, three, four, five. We've done six of these, so this is our sixth week. There we are. Six weeks of portraits equals six famous faces. All right, nice and easy. It is Friday today, so it is gallery day. Um, so again, we just review the work we've done. This week, we have a look at some of the work that we've done in previous weeks as well, why not? Um, I'm gonna add a bit of paint to my canvas now. And then we're going to go through framing, all right? So it's just gone, it's about uh, 20 minutes into the show. If you're drawing, if you are just listening, if you've got a brew, if you've got me in the background, good morning. How are we doing? It's a fun day today. Um, always creative, even if we're not being, even if we're not executing that creativity, we are thinking creatively, we're looking at colours, and we're re reviewing our own work, again, creatively, all right? Thinking outside the box, thinking what we could do with a piece, you know, for example, the eyes, you know, we turn the eyes into a finished canvas. Um, thank you to Mr. E. He's already uh, made moves on this piece. So once we've revealed it, I'll sign it, date it, and name him, Shaka Khan. So I'll sign it at the bottom. We'll see it framed. Uh, sorry, guys, this one's already gone. If anyone does want, want to make any moves on any of my other artwork, please give me a shout. Uh, we'll do that now, in fact. Before we start painting, I'd just like to uh, tell you about a little project um, and a way to support the Paint With Pete's, all right? Um, so I'm going to make a sign that is going to be the address that you can then buy me a coffee, all right? It says buy me a coffee on the site. It's ko-fi uh, ko forward, ko com forward slash paint with Pete. K-O hyphen F-I dot com forward slash paint with Pete, and you can put three pounds in and you can buy me a coffee. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say buy me a pen. So if you wanna buy me a pen, one of these, or one of these, you can do. So you are already directly involved in the paint with Pete's by liking and sharing and watching. All right, first and foremost, thank you for joining me. Your presence is very much appreciated. Hello. Um, you can also support me by you know, sharing stuff from uh, my YouTube, on my Facebook, on my Instagram. So just for the record, I'll do this now. Pete Obsolete, funny enough, on Facebook and Obsolete Formats, MCR on Facebook. Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats on Instagram. I am Snob Ross, Snob underscore Ross on Twitter. And I am Obsolete Formats on YouTube. So every day the videos will grow up a couple of hours later, uh, but you can have a look at all the previous paint with Pete's, and I mean all of them from last year, from the very, very start of lockdown. Uh, so now you can check them out on my YouTube. Lovely stuff. The way you can support me again is kofi.com forward slash paint with Pete. Again, buy me a coffee, buy me a paint, buy me a paint, buy me a pen. That would be amazing. Thank you very much. I'm going to now make the sign for that. So it's just going to say ko-fi.com slash 
then paint with Pete. So we're going to make a little sign now, uh, just so I can put it in my studio, just so everybody knows that if you want to buy me a coffee or a pen, help out with the paint with Pete sessions. That would be fantastic. Okay, so let's go. Again, if you can't right now, absolutely fine. The fact you're watching this, or even if you're hearing my voice or whatever, um, if you've seen some obsolete around town, please just take a photo of it. Um, tag me in some stuff, I will share it. Much appreciated. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my standard um, font. Um, so we've got an F, I'll show you this in a second. Dot. Come on. Okay, so what I'm doing is making uh, one of the uh, name plates just so everyone knows where you can send me a couple of quid, get me a pen or a coffee. Amazing. Give me two minutes.com slash. I am doing this very quick. With I'm gonna do that bigger. I'm gonna do it bigger. Why not? We can go there. Okay. Okay, oh. Just a, a flip of the page over. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can see it. It's easier to cut out and everyone else can see it as well. I, I feel really awkward about um asking. Certainly in a time of a pandemic, um, but again, if you if you can't help out, absolutely amazing. That's more than enough. Uh, is just sharing and liking some of the pages and some of the work that I do. Um, if you can, put your hand in your pocket and give us three quid for a coffee or a pen. Amazing. I'll stop saying it now. Okay, so C O M slash. Okay, and then it's here. So P A. I paint. Yep. Two seconds. I'll get back to the uh, studio in a second. I just want to make sure this is looking all right. Lovely. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to draw around that and cut him out. I will be 10 seconds, probably a little bit longer. So I've got my medium pen. I'm just going to go straight over. So K. O. Hyphen. So Kofi is like that, ko.fi.com. So we got we're on the C. We are doing some lettering this week. Hurrah, I just realized. Kofi.com, there we are, nearly finished. Sorry guys, not exactly a bit, uh, <laughs> spectator sport. So, A is the P. So far, P. 
play with. Two seconds, everybody. It's going to get a lot more visual in a minute. Don't worry about that. Okay, lastly. There we go. Okay, let's put a little thing in it as well. There we go, amazing. Okay, let's cut him out. And we'll be just on brew time. So I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the uh, gallery session so far. We haven't really done much, but after the break, I'm gonna get painting and framing. So we're gonna be able to see what our pieces look like uh, from flat to frame. And I'm gonna add some uh, white paint to my big canvas. So I'm just finishing the sign off, and I'm gonna get a bit more creative. Um, I, yeah, serendipitously, I just thought we need to. I need to make a sign for this, uh, so that kind of helps with the uh, lettering that got missed on Wednesday. If you want to make one of these, absolutely amazing. I'll show you in a second. I'm just cutting it out, taking my time a little bit, never letting those scissors close. If you want a neat outline to your worlds. Okay, nearly there. Loads of letters, so there's not much negative space today. Not much to cut around. There we are. Okay, look. Just rub him out. There we go. All right, cool. Just get those pencil lines out of my sign because this is going to be uh, in the studio all the time now. There we are. Okay, my friend Mr. Blue type. I'm going to switch it for the paint with Pete sign. So again, I'm going to say it one more time. If you do want to support me just a little bit, I mean, you're already watching the show, so thank you so much. That's, it means the world, on it, quite honestly. Um, I need to replace some of my art materials, and obviously I want to keep doing the paint with Pete's as long as I can. So, let's just move this guy. And switch it for this guy. There we are. So, pro-fee.com forward slash paint with Pete, all one word, and you can just donate three pounds if you want to support the paint with Pete. Get me a coffee, get me a pen. Honestly, every bit of money go, every bit of, you know, artwork sold, um, you know, work that I do, everything goes back into the business. Um, I want to be obsolete forever. Um, I want to be doing paint with Pete as long as I can. So if you can help me, love you forever. I love you forever already because you're watching the show. Um, but if you want a little bit extra bonus points from me, uh, extra big high five, Give me a shout. There's the address. Please have a look. Photos and videos are on there as well. Just so you know what I'm doing. There we are. Okay, so paint with Pete's sign can go over there. Right, so before we do the reveal on, on our framing of Chakra Khan, I am, I'm going to need some white paint, a paintbrush, and my big canvas. So I'm going to just switch you guys around a little bit so everybody can see uh, what I'm doing. I'm basically just going to... Uh, as I do everything, approach the canvas as if it's blank and just start putting some white paint in it. So I'm going to move you guys a little bit. Bear with me. I'm wearing my trilby. Sorry guys. I miss this guy. I haven't had a, an occasion uh, to wear it for, uh, for, well, just nearly a year. So I'm wearing it now. Why not? Okay. Um, so let's get some white paint. Here's some I prepared earlier. I'm 
going to use my medium brush. He was Mr. Dead, but I washed him uh, really well, so he's come back to life a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's very rare that a dead brush uh, will come back to life, but I love the width and the kind of splay, so he's a little bit, he's undead, he's nearly dead. Um, so I'm just going to dip some water, move you guys. Hopefully you can see that okay. Okay, I just want to double check that we are good to go and that you can see what I'm doing. I think you should be able to. basically adding white just to bring it back a little bit. These, these greens are really nice and I'm really happy that they uh, are contrast um, to this really nice pink kind of a tornado of colour going on here. Um, but I think uh, you just need to bring it in, bring the white back in a little bit. So I'm just going to fill in this face. Okay, so I'm going to get my little dead brush out, so Mr. Dead, the official, he's really stiff and really short, so it doesn't behave like a brush, that's why he's Mr. Dead. Just drying it on my joggers. Right, so. So I'm just kind of freestyle sketching, constant checks, again, as you always. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so uh, yeah, just adding little bits and bobs to it. Get my finger a bit so you can see it a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. Uh, that. So I just added a, a bit of white to my uh, ever evolving canvas. It's called Until Love. Uh, so that phrase comes from a, well, it's a t shirt that I'll be bringing out soon, shush, uh, called uh, All Hearts Are Broken Until Love. So it's um, a kind of reference to a t shirt design that I've got coming out. That'll be very soon. If you like uh, the obsolete t-shirts of the past, uh, I haven't dropped a t-shirt in about in, phew, two years, I think. Um, I'm very excited about summer. Uh, there will be loads of t-shirts coming out, so please give me some love. And again, any little donations or any little uh, coffees that get bought for me, all go into that formula, all go into that bank, so we can do something really fun over summer. Uh, I'm planning some um, photo shoots as well and some video work as well. Uh, loads of different things. I hope everyone's getting a bit excited about the fact that we've got some almost finality about uh, Corona and COVID. Uh, so let's get excited for the year, put that energy into art. Don't let that potential energy just kind of burn you out or distract you. We can put that into artwork, all right? Uh, today's t-shirt is by the man, Keith Herring. Shout out to the Keith Herring Foundation. This was from his uh, Tokyo pop-up store. Um, so, shout to Keith Herring and the Keith Herring Foundation. If you don't know his work, please check him out. Uh, you should know his work simply from the t-shirt. But if you don't, check out Keith Herring. Incredible, incredible artist. Okay, so uh, I've got white paint everywhere. So I'm just worried about my t-shirt. Just dry him off. And we're going to get on framing, all right? I know we've uh, gone through uh, brew time. I was painting how I spend most of my brew times. I'm super fine. Okay, so we're going to start framing our pieces. So for the next 20 minutes-ish, uh, I want to show you what things look like from flat, from how, how we drew them, when we left them, and how they look framed. Uh, I think the first thing we should do is the eyes, as it was Monday. So I'm going to take out my Warehouse Project 07 poster. If you were there, you will know. A crazy time in Manchester. Um, Love that. Okay. I'm still here. I'm just uh, down, just kneeling down, just to frame. So warehouse can go safely there. Oh, thank you to Ethan as well for the uh, the first brew. Thank you very much for yesterday's cup of coffee. Thank you, mate. Or pen. I'm going to just say pen from now on. Thank you. Okay, so we saw it flat. But again, even a doodle, even something that might have only taken us 10 minutes, if that. But... Come on, my weekly frame argument, uh, but in a frame, it steps it up. I'm going to do this every week. I want to show you that even your doodles can look neat and tidy and ready to frame and put on a wall. So even a Monday session for the doodles, 
you can still have something that really echoes that kind of uh, street art mentality and that kind of immediacy in the line. You know, put it against a plain wall, blue, red, yellow, green. This will look lovely, even against a white wall. So, there's our eyes. You can go there, actually. I have brought two frames with me today, so we can do two at a time. So, the next thing we're going to frame is... Uh, we'll get Jonah Hill in one of them as well. So, let's do that. Uh, just for framing, just the record, this is the back. Uh, you'll get little metal panels that you unfold. Just in case anyone's uh, completely new to framing. So he's open now, so I can take the back out and put my own work in it. Or put more of my own work in it. Uh, me and my brother were looking back through photos. Um, this piece is literally 10... 14 years old now, it was part of my uh, exhibition piece at Manchester Metropolitan University, full name, and um, so this was part of my uh, final exhibitions piece, made out of typewriter, for the record. You can make art with anything. Um, I took a photo of me, um, scanned it, photocopied it, drew it, put it through a typewriter, typed in all the shadows. There we are. Okay, so next is Mr. Jonah. Move you, move you. You can go back over there, and you can come here. So Jonah's going in. I just caught that frame in the light. I need to clean my frames. Nothing wrong with that. Right. So Mr. Jonah's gone in straight away. Thank you, frame. And here's Jonah. So again, simply by putting a bit of a white board around him. I mean, as in the frame, we've put a black fill line in, since uh, you know, it used to just be the face and his neck. As much as it might look like he's floating, adding this black gives it a bit of depth, so he's got his own little uh, natural kind of background. And again, it goes flat white, so whatever colour the wall is, doesn't matter. Mine's white, but doesn't matter. White, and then white, and then you've got this black scratch line, and then you bring it all in. All these neat, all these lines look so much neater because of these this dirt layer. Signed and dated, the obsolete Jonah Hill. So next, I'll leave Jonah up here. Regarde. Again, next to this, so two black and whites next to each other look amazing. So even, I mean, I'm just balancing them on, a, on my radiator, uh, but the two black and whites next to each other really kind of uh, amplify each other. So this kind of um, negative space and then this thick black, kind of uh, the depth in this black really pop out the uh, the white areas and certainly the black lines, the thinner black lines, there we are. Okay, so let's do the reveal. One of my favorite things is being able to see the work um, almost develop like a photograph. If you've ever, ever um, had the uh, arduous task of developing your own film, the amount of films that you just burn from making mistakes, it, you know, you have to let it go. But watching a photo develop is amazing. Once you put it in the fix uh, and once it's in the stop and the actual image starts being um, kind of solidified, it will literally, you'll see the image uh, develop into the page. I'm trying to use non-technical words. But being able to, once you reveal this, it goes from being this kind of rough edge to a really, really smooth edge. So, excuse me a sec, Mr. J. And I'm going to move uh, D'Artagnan as well. So, he's called Chakra Khan. I'm going to put that back on when I sign it. But I'm gently pulling off the masking tape, pulling away from the painting. So, I'm pulling this way. And you'll see, well, when the masking tape wants to, you'll see that straight edge come out. Let me just get the other bit, there we are. So you can see that straight line. And he's done it again, that's all right. Again, patience is a massive virtue here. I'm basically just using the weight of the canvas. I'm not really pulling, I'm just giving him a kind of 
you know, reminder that I'm there and that it's not, I'm not yanking it or anything, just being very delicate with it. There we are. Nearly finished. There we go. I've got to be very delicate with this because it's already sold. Um, <laughs> We're going to be fine, amazing. Straight in the bin. Uh, last peel. Again, just to make sure, slow down. Just a little bit of weight against that masking tape there. And that, apart from this bit, is done. Oh, and this bit. In the bin. Okay, so there's Chakra Khan, neatened up. I'm just going to sign him and name him. There we are. So that's Chakra signed, dated, and named. Just stay there, mate. Okay, um, so I'm just going to get my eyepiece. Regarde, flip him over. Pop him out. So the eyepiece is coming out. Just so, Chakra Khan can slide right in. Always better to try using a table at this point. Um, I've got big legs, that's all good. Okay. Come on. There's that patience kicking in again. Come on. There's always one that's not fully folded out. Of course there is. Okay, cool. Lovely, there we are. Confirm that. Lovely stuff. So just uh, fixing that backboard onto the canvas, onto the frame, sorry. Et voila. So. Mr. Chakra Khan, uh, framed, signed, dated, named and framed. Um, so this guy was created on Tuesday. The whole session was basically focused on this and the big canvas. Um, so basically I just reduced my eyes. You can see the eyes behind him. We added loads of paint and pink. So I went over the eyes, colored a few eyes in, in different uh, Sharpies. Then got the paints out, painted him up, add some gold, black line, Left it all to dry overnight. Came back for the white line yesterday. Left that all to dry yesterday. And here we are, the final piece. Over three days, we have our final piece done. Signed, named and framed. There we are. So I'm gonna leave those two guys up. So there's Chakra. Are you gonna? Good. And Mr. Jonah Hill. There we are. Uh, obviously I've taken a few bits of, uh, of work down just so we have got a bit of space for display. I'll get the eyes back up so you can see them. I love me a, a simple background. So you might see the eyes from Monday's doodle, from last week's, uh, go into Thursday's painting. In fact, I've got quite a few backgrounds in my stash of work, so all of this stuff, all of this work has been produced in an hour every day. I'm not adding or, you know, like uh, adding work to it. The only thing I did do was go around some of the heads with the, the sort of black outline like this yesterday. 
But apart from that, everything else has been produced in the session. So we've got stuff like the runes and handwriting. Again, perfect background. He's going to go in the background pile. We also have be excellent to each other. I might use this in the colour session next week. So I know that even though this was done in a session and had a purpose, there was a nice message in there and I know that I can turn it into a piece, excuse me, if I wanted to. I think by colouring the letters in, maybe putting a wash behind it and then building those letters back up, I think that looked really good. So he's also going in the, we're going to paint in pile, all right? We can leave our block plumb up. Again, this guy, there's not really much potential in there. We just use that so he can go down here. There we are. Again, we've got the rune font on the back of the bubble font. I really like this. So having the whole alphabet of our bubble font up. Um, I'll use that as the template actually. So that's going to go in. We use that for Wednesday session. Our big NHS thing. I can cut that out. I'm going to do that now. So we just... Uh, Again, freestyling, going back through the work and seeing what we can do with it. You know, all of this is a record. I don't want to, you know, uh, disrespect that record or whatever. I want to use the work that we've done. So even if it, it does look like a sketch line or a, a piece that, you know, is just a kind of trial or a sketch or a doodle, everything has potential and everything is a background for something else. Metaphors for life, everybody. Um, but using that idea, having that kind of concept in my head of never, um, well, never really putting something down. Everything can be, you know, changed or edited at your heart's desire, literally. Let's just cut this guy out real quick. Super quick cutting, but I can do I can do it quick because I've practiced my scissoring work, my scissor techniques. Last couple of hearts at the bottom here. There we are minute of cutting and we have a big NHS banner. He's going in our work that we've done pile rather than the stuff we're going to do. Tough man turnip and peanut potato from the very very first week. He's going in the stack. Uh, we've got that's going to go in the stack as well. Jack McDonald McGraw, I need to keep him. Oh look, here's our school doodles from uh, a couple of weeks ago. They're going in the pile to use. And again, here's the, uh, the five faces of the Paint with Peats. These are just the egg men. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Curly perps. So again, just really nice, bright uh, structures for face drawing. So I've got loads of these. Uh, you know, if anyone's looking for uh, someone to have an exhibition in their bar or gallery, Please give me a shout. I have loads and loads of work, um, whether it's from the paint repeat sessions, they're all going down there, or from them, just my work in life and canvases and stuff. I, I've got a couple of set up already. So shouts to KSMCR. Please follow KSMCR. Um, they are on King Street in Manchester. They've taken over the um, the old Jack Wills uh, building. Just beautiful Georgian house. It's an absolute honour uh, to have some street art of mine in such a beautiful place and surrounded by some amazing artists. Um, today's artist shout out is Lady Amy Coney. Amy Coney, uh, not the uh, senator, <laughs> not the idiot senator from uh, America. Her name is Amy Coney. Amy Coney Art. Uh, please check Amy Coney's work out. She is absolutely amazing. Um, she's also head honcho at KSMCR uh, with Mr. Tom Ford. Shouts to the boy. Um, so yeah, love to Amy Coney. Thank you for getting me involved in so many projects, uh, and thank you for choosing me to exhibit in your amazing building on King Street. MCR. Uh, I've also got an exhibition 
potentially coming out with a, well, I'm not going to tell you, it's a little secret for now, um, but there's a few fingers and a few different pies, um, and I've got some artwork, some clothing, uh, some exhibitions and some photos, uh, some photo shoots and sort of editorial stuff uh, coming out in the next couple of months. Over the weekend, I'm going to be spending my weekend taking photos of the work that hasn't sold. This one is not available, I'm afraid. Uh, but if you like any of the other work that you've seen produced in the Paint With Peas, please give me a shout. Most of it is online. My site is House Obsolete. Like the Game of Thrones, House Obsolete dot big cartel dot com house of sleep dot big cartel dot com you can see all the work that um, I kind of produce I've got loads of canvases loads of kind of pieces like this nice big bits of uh, skullduggery yeah, there's another name for a project um, freestyling um, so yeah please have a look I've got some uh, bits of clothing as well some uh, stationery if you want pencil cases and stuff as well as cards and art and, and canvases loads of other bits and bobs uh, please check that out. Okay, so, I mean, I forget. The other way you can help me, send me a coffee or three quid to buy a pen. So you can buy me one of these. I went out of these on a regular. So like every day, um, I'm always using my pens, obviously outside the session as well. Um, so if you do want to support Paint With Pete, please do um, have a look at my website. If there's anything you like, give me a shout. Uh, if you want to just show your love um, and not, you know, have to buy a canvas or anything. Kofi.com forward slash paint repeat. Send me three quid, buy me a pen. Let's be friends. Okay, and um, three more minutes left of the Friday session. Uh, next week, more of the same. I will say next Thursday, um, again, I, I'm going to have to dip out of Thursday's session, I'm afraid. Um, I'm a little bit tempted to move, there's an idea, to move the portrait day to Wednesday. But I'm going to do a mix because we didn't have lettering this week. Thanks again. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a lettering and portrait thing. I'm going to throw a curveball at myself uh, in a little challenge and try and do something to do with lettering and also with celebrity drawing. So on Wednesday next week, please give me a shout for any celebrity drawing, any uh, celebrity names that you want to see me draw. Um, and I'm going to try and turn them, I might try and make them into a letter or uh, some sort of mix between portraiture and typography or lettering all right um that is just about 11 o'clock i've got about another minute um so thank you very very much for joining me today a little bit of creativity adding some stuff to the canvas um he's growing i'm liking where this is going i can still see those the layers in it um i can see kind of a, a picture coming through a little bit more so you'll see that develop next week uh, i'm painting this specifically in the paint with peas so you can see me go from blank canvas all the way through to a final piece. Uh, if you have missed anything, please check out Obsolete Formats MCR on YouTube, and obviously Obsolete Formats, uh, sorry, Obsolete Formats on YouTube, that's right, Obsolete Formats MCR on Facebook. If you're, if you're looking for something over the weekend, check the page out. I'm always putting some uh, arty stuff on. If you're looking for some comedy or like a quiz, please check out Have A Word podcast on YouTube. Absolutely hilarious. If you want like a, an hour to three hours of just Two comedians just uh, being absolutely incredible. Um, check out Have A Word podcast. Shouts to Dan uh, Nightingale and Adam Rowe. And also, can you check out Sounds Like on YouTube if you're looking for a bit of a quiz or if you've ever been into rhyme or rhyming on poetry, please check out Sounds Like on YouTube. Shouts to Mr. Shuffle T. Amazing. Okie dokie. That's me done. I will see you bright and early. Well, bright at least um, at 10 o'clock on Monday for some more doodling, all right? So make sure you got a pen, make sure you got some paper. I'll be back in the studio. I will see you on Monday. Stay safe, stay creative, have a fantastic weekend. I shouldn't salute, I should tip my cap. Have a good weekend.